Good morning, everybody from Silver Steel Studios here in Houston. This is Bogdan and John with their weekly live art chat. Hey, welcome, everybody. Probably should do some housekeeping. Yeah. If you are with us on Facebook Live, welcome, and thank you for joining us. Unfortunately, we're broadcasting on Zoom, so we can't see your comments right now. Uh, so delighted that you're there. Please don't feel neglected. Uh, we will check all those comments right after the show and, uh, and get back to you if, if uh, there's something to be responding to. But we're delighted that you're here. If you're here with Zoom, we should know that fairly soon as well. Uh, and we do keep the comment line open in Zoom. So everything that we're going to present to you today is uh, artwork done by Bogdan and myself, and it, everything's for sale. In fact, I'll sell you this monitor. I've got a pencil here. What do you want to buy? We'll make that happen. And we can ship anywhere in the world. So just if you're calling in from Jupiter, we may have issues, but otherwise uh, I think we can handle it. So I, in fact, everything is for sale. Uh, that's we the have, I'm gonna make. <laughs> we, uh, we have a friend from Romania, which is a friend of ours. It's a relative actually. It's Luminita. Hi Luminita. Hi uh, Luminita. Uh, I've seen you, I've seen a notification that you are on Facebook, so um, I just wanted to say hello to you. Uh, I'm not sure. Bună ziua. Bună ziua. Uh, so let's get back to our uh, show. And um, I want to get back to the slideshow that would keep us in track with what are we going to talk today. You know, as usual, you can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, uh, follow us our YouTube channel. Uh, on Facebook, as you know, is Bogdan Photo Art, my page, or John Bishop Fine Art. On Instagram, you can find me on Bogdan on Instagram, or John on John Bishop Fine Art. And on YouTube, you can just search for John Bishop Fine Art channel. And we have a lot of new things in YouTube, right, John? Yeah, we're doing, we've been doing a lot. In fact, uh, you want me to talk about Art Life? Uh, sure. Yeah, the, the Art Life is, is I, I've had a vlog going since January. It's been one of my, my New Year's resolutions. And I could never get Bogdan to be in front of the camera because he's always a behind the camera kind of guy. And so we recently changed the format and made it more about our lives as artists instead of just a talking head kind of trying to impart uh, mm -hmm. knowledge and stuff I've learned. And, uh, and it's much more interactive and I think a lot better. Uh, so you should, you should check that out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there we are being squirrely in the car. And, um, you know, actually, <laughs> we, we will talk about this later anyway, but it's, um, a, it's a, it's a great, um, it's a great tool. It, 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 at every end of the week, we, put this episode together and it's great to see how we work on what we work and to keep track on all the projects uh, we've been doing and uh, of course share with everybody else and um, uh, you know um, I always say this that if you are an artist like us out there uh, uh, the purpose of it is to for you to get inspired and keep doing what you're doing and um if we, if if you get inspired by us, by anything, even better. Yeah. Um, so that was it, one of it, and then the first two artworks we want to feature today. Uh, one is called Symbiosis, and it's a photograph of mine, and the other one is Solar Prayer. It's a, a small painting um, by John. Now. Symbiosis, it's, um, it's a lovely, lovely photograph and it's, it's um, very quiet, very calm in a way. Uh, and what it represents is this branch of, uh, I think it's a walk tree that I found on the porch one day. And if, to me, I look at it, it, it didn't feel dead. You know what I mean? It, it has so much color in it. And then I, I photographed it, I took it into the studio and I felt that it was, it needed something. It needed that spark and the movement in between. It, almost like synapses, connecting, connecting leaves, connecting um, uh, this uh, 
present and uh, a past. And this is how, how I've seen it. And this is how I constructed this, this photograph. And it's um, edition, uh, uh, 20 in an edition. And this is part of a series uh, called Fragile. And um, a second pictures from this series, I'm going to show it later uh, on the show today. So, Bogdan, tell me a little bit, how, did, how was this image produced? I mean, it's got a lot of black in the background. It's very kind of haunting. I see that you've inscribed on it, which I think gives it almost an electric vibe, kind of mm -hmm. like it's it's energized in some way. Or are, are, are those kind of pictures of auras where you see this kind of uh, energy coming mm -hmm. off of some image? But how do you actually take that photo? You know, those, uh, on this part, this particular one, it's um, it's done in a high resolution scanner. A scanner, okay. Yes, and then and that what, gives that dark background. Uh, it not necessary. It gives you a, a dark background to start with, but you what you have to do is to process that black because when you scan, it is the scanner. It's it has a high resolution. You can uh -huh. see dust. You can see a finger because uh, it's a finger. Uh, uh, how do you call that? Um, an imprint of a finger because it's sure fingerprint. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean it's 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 great to have gloves all the time, but life doesn't work that way all every in every. Um, every time and, that, uh, that kind of high light with a dark background really changes the way you see something if i saw this branch uh it, it would not be nearly as impactful if you right. take a photo in a different way i just think right. it's very haunting looking I, I love it and and the colors are uh, um almost neon like neon in, yeah. a, neon in a good uh, way not a um, restaurant <laughs> I've never uh, had a bad neon experience. <laughs> oh, I did. They're kind of oh, greenish. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so, yes. And then I, I, I process the picture in Photoshop. I clean it up. I clean the black to have a, a pure black. Okay. Yeah. And, and then I, I start digitally painting this, this uh, um, connection and interconnections and, and fine lines. And uh, uh, I, it's completely, you know... Uh, random done i haven't had anything in, in mind like i'm gonna follow a pattern and a certain style it's just the way i feel it that i i want to that's, that's where the artist comes in yeah in, interconnect these uh dry leaves together and uh beautiful. now uh before we move on to the next one i wanna i wanna show it to you it's printed actually on, on luster paper which is mm. kind of known as, as a um is known as a kind of a pearl paper because it has some uh, semi-gloss granulation. And you can't hear me? Uh, you need to, when you back off from the microphone. Yeah, so it's printed on a uh, luster paper, which is known as a um, kind of a pearl paper because it has some fine granulations and you can see the, the rounds on the paper. It, it is really, really beautiful and adds that um, pearl feel that reflectiveness and mm -hmm. yeah and and gives that sense of something fine and rich yes in a very rich way um and and the and having it on black on pure black it, it's even great mm -hmm. beautiful now uh yeah, i think it's your turn to talk about your first piece and that is solar prayer solar prayer This is also a, a very small painting. It's an acrylic, but it's it's got some other multimedia, some other mixed media stuff in it, um, and it's a, a representation of the sun. And as I, uh, if if you know me at all, you know that the sacred circle is always, almost always present in my works. Uh, there's some other tricks that uh, that some themes that come through in my art, but the sacred circle is always one of them. And I was thinking of the sun not only as a you know a, a star but also as um, symbolic of, of some sort of religious belief throughout history with people. Mm -hmm. And so well, how do I make that connection? And so what I did was I, I, I wrote a, I found a prayer that's in Sanskrit, a prayer to the sun, uh, honoring the sun God, and, uh, or the sun as a, as a deity. 
And so I wrote that prayer out on the right on the rays of the sun. And so that's actually a Sanskrit prayer written on top of the painting. Uh, and uh, again, I don't speak Sanskrit, but I trust the translation was was correct. And uh, it's a it's a tribute to the sun. And I just thought it was a lovely little painting. Um, it uh, it is not framed, but it would be simple enough to frame. I have it here, eight by ten. They're quite it's quite small. Let me but, hold, uh, hold hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. Got you that go. reflective gold paint, so it, it's a little shiny. And it, I often try and create things in my paintings that when you get close to them, you have a different experience than you see across the room. Mm -hmm. Across the room, this looks like a solar disk with rays coming off of it. But when you get closer, you actually see the words of the solar prayer. And so I, I love that about it, that when you're close to a painting, you should be able to have a different experience uh, that is unique to being far away. So anyway, that's the one I wanted to share first. It's been here for a while. It's one of my favorites, but uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. I love it. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. And you know, as a matter of fact, I, I had a, uh, I worked, uh, I finished actually uh, an ink drawing uh, uh -huh. this last time, uh, this past evenings. And um, I had some circles and I tried to write all kinds of thoughts, random thoughts. And I was like, I, I made a video actually. I said, I, I, those are not to be read. Those are just my random thoughts. It's a very fine, uh, fine words. You cannot read them. So don't try. Uh, it's not really, it's just about, and to me, the idea of using language as an expression of art, I mean, obviously literature, poetry, those kinds of things. But when you actually take the graphic elements of writing and turn that into, uh, and include that into other artistic representations visually, I just think it's magic. Yeah. And, and before we move in on to the next uh, slide, let's see what's going to happen. We want to say a hi to Frank, who is saying hi from the construction side. Hi, hi Frank. Frank. Stay safe out there and out of the sun. Keep your hard hat on. We just got a notification from the Houston Health Department that it's a bad uh, asthma day today. Yeah. So st stay safe. Mask up. Mask up, yes. Fabulous. Moving on, we wanna uh, we have the thank you section, and we uh, at this time we wanna thank you Ben and Claudia from Dallas. They made it safely to the studios last weekend, and uh, not only they come and visit us, but they actually left with a bunch of artworks they fell in love with. They got from me the water garden, and I think John, you they got several pieces from you. I think they bought four pieces from me, uh, eight by tens, the, the everything series. So the, the one that Claudia is holding is one example of that. She bought two others. And then Ben has one that's uh, uh, actually a monoprint called Left Behind. Uh, and uh, they loved those. It was great. We haven't seen Ben and Claudia. We met them actually in Moscow with, Amazing. with the library program to, to kind of help out with my library in, in Russia. And they, uh, they lived in Texas. So when we came home, we were much closer. We haven't seen them for about four years. In fact, I recall that I was thin when I saw them last. But and, uh, so it was a great I, visit. And we found out that Ben is actually embarking on his art career, uh, beginning his art career. Uh, coming that's out, amazing. Out and in I, the public as, as an artist. So um, congratulations to Ben. We look forward to seeing where you go and we will follow you. Uh, and your art career. And uh, it was great to see them both. At least we have one proof that somebody got inspired out of this uh, art life uh, careers we started. Yes, yeah. Well, it's it, art has been inspiring people for a long time. <laughs> uh, what else is new? There's nothing that much new around here. We still have the Some of Us exhibition at Silver Sea Studios. And... Um, I have actually three pieces in the in this uh, show, and uh, you moved uh, the Panka Marga, right? 
Right. Now, Pankamarga is over. Are we going to talk about that as well or no? Sure, sure. The Pankamarga show has ended in the West Gallery, so we had to take all that down. And uh, so I moved some of the pieces that are re retaining uh, to my kind of display in the Some of Us that will be up until August 21st. So there are three of the, the uh, 30 by 40 inch pieces uh, and the rest are in my studio. We still have nine pieces, if anybody is interested in getting in on the ground level of this, uh, this heritage uh, legacy series, uh, there's still some available. And uh, I think it's um, uh, time to start delivering some. Uh, yes, actually, some today, this afternoon, and this weekend, uh, we'll start the start the rounds of deliveries. And, and saying that, because you mentioned weekend, um, this weekend, this Saturday, is not an open Saturday at Silver Steel Studios. However. We are open, and if you guys are out there with um, an appetite for art, come and visit us. We uh, we welcome everybody. Absolutely, we'll be here. Now, I want to say a thank you to um, Artway Gallery for the 13th Juried Exhibition. The exhibition will end next week, so if you guys haven't made it to this uh, 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 exhibition in the uh, at the Archway, you still have one more weekend to visit. And um, this was a, a great honor to be selected on this show. And uh, I want to thank you. I, I want to thank Art Trade Gallery for this opportunity. And it's also an uh, it's also a virtual show, isn't it? Um, yes, it is. Yeah. In fact, so if you in can't fact, make it, it's up virtually for a while. In fact, they have a. Um, uh, social media accounts and you can follow the artwork and uh, everything they have in, uh, in the show um, out of their channels. I think that's the new normal to have yeah. a virtual presence yeah, you, as well. We'll all have to adapt, adapt somehow, right? I think that's a great thing. Um, what else new? New is Fine Feria oh, that is nice. coming closer. Yesterday I actually um, printed several uh, pieces that have been sold uh, meanwhile. So um, I have three new photographs um, that have, needs to be prepared and um, get ready with it and have it ready for the fair. Uh, We're going to load up and carry these things in, aren't we? Uh, yes, and uh, if you guys have plans to go um, in holiday, a weekend holiday in Guadalajara at the end of August, 27 and 29 of August is the show and um, we'll be glad to see you in Guadalajara. Uh, Absolutely. Many people plan their holidays around your exhibitions. That, that's great. As they uh, should. They should, right. And um, I know that the venue is going to be somewhere in the uh, historical center of Guadalajara. But we I know it's in the Colonia Americana. We know that. <laughs> I don't know exactly where and how. And this will be determined very soon. We have Sueno o Realidad, a Festival de Fotografía Artística Tucumán, that is going to take place and start um, within a few days now. Yeah, and I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to, to that um, adventure. And um, I think um, I'm going to be uh, in a Zoom meeting with them as well. Uh, I send them the videos of the, um, the submitted uh, um, series which is uh, synopsis and actually uh, i want to mention that synopsis is actually um, on display in my studio here at 111 um, room in silver street studio so if you guys want to take a look of the whole uh, series or the whole images please do come visit me getting back to the Okay, we, we talk about a little uh, of the art life, but I want to uh, remind everybody that if you haven't followed us on YouTube, please do. Uh, you can find us uh, either on Job B John Bishop Fine Art or Bogdan Mihai. And uh, we have a new vlog out in episode 21 this time. And um, it was a great, actually, um, uh, adventure. We went to Louisiana. We visit a collector, which now become a good friend. Um, lots of lots of fun. 
Uh, what else? We visited uh, several towns on the way, John, right? Oh my gosh, uh, that, we took the back roads. So we, we did. took the back roads from, from Huntsville, Texas to Opelousas, Louisiana. Uh, we, we did some drone shootings on the way because this is what we do. Um, what else? And, we, and uh, it was kind of a short week in a way, but we catch up with all the work. And um, came back to the studio and I start, I finish this piece, which is now called uh, Triad. And um, love this piece. It's, it's, it's so hard it's, to appreciate its 3D nature. That, that frame is how, how wide? Three inches? It's two inch high. So two inch deep uh, I had, just to accommodate I had, the, the depth of that column. I had to, to find this uh, very deep frame. Um, you know, I have a, a choice to leave it unframed uh, without a glass, but I, I think, you know, when you work with paper, you should protect that as much as you can. If, if for nothing else, over the years, dust and things like that. It, exactly, exactly. And uh, not only I finish that piece, uh, I have another one in constructions, um, but more will be revealed soon. And here is me again. Um, you know, I have these arches when I have the uh, uh, word in Latin written above. And uh, let me turn this off. And uh, they're kind of faded because of the level of decay. So I had to sure. bring them, I have to bring them uh, some details, some sparks to it. So this is what I am, uh, uh, what I'm doing is uh, having the magnifying glass to be precise because I don't want to mess it up. And um, highlight those writings in Latin. And so you're doing, you're basically hand embellishing. Exactly, yes. And doing 3D, three-dimensional collage work on your photography, which I think is amazing. Congratulations. Thank it's really you. Primitive. I had a, a fantastic feedback of, uh, uh, about this new works I've done recently. And I really enjoy What, what do you do with a great photograph? Put some gold in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, not only. I put cement, I put all kinds of oh, things. Oh, exactly. Wire and... Anyway, so uh, we're moving forward to the next two uh, art pieces we want to talk about today. And um, the second one, as I said uh, uh, before, uh, is from the same series called Fragile. And it's, this actually is called Fragile. And it's made basically uh, on the same um, um, way as the other one. Uh, what I do is once in a while, I go to these trips in the forest and um, I just find a variety of things that are interesting to me. And this is a composite. Uh, I found these branches on the, uh, broken on the, on the trail. And um, this uh, um, bird nest fall onto the ground. And I said, uh, I'm going to construct something out of this. So I took it home and I scanned them. Actually, the... the uh, the nest is photographed and then compose this picture together. Like, you know, you, you give life to, to something that is dying. And I, I, I find this so um, uh, rewarding in a way. And it's, 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 it has some that fragility in, if you know what I mean. It's gorgeous. And the whole symbology of, of the kind of, of the new life coming from a nest where the egg would be. And, and right. just, it's a great pairing. And it's, it's visually stunning. That nest is beautiful. Um, and it's, you know, this kind of bird would make that nest. Those are 15 on editions. And uh, I, I have one printed here in the studio. Um, wow. This is how it looks like. I mean, it can be. Yeah, it, that would just be stunning. It can be, you know, framed with a mat or without a mat. It mm -hmm. depends. But to me, having a mat and a, and a plastic bag, it protects the artwork for yeah, fingerprints, right. for, uh, for that shopware, dust, yes, yeah, scratches, mm -hmm. and so on. Particularly all that black. Any any anything that touches that black. Yes, and especially this paper. It's so um, hard to deal with because having that semi gloss finish will take any anything every single hair of dust is going to be visible 
Yeah. Yeah. What do you have next? You have Bridget. Bridget. Bridget is a, a painting I did this last year during the kind of COVID bit. Uh, Bridget is one of, I was, you know, playing with my cartoon heads as I've been doing for a while. And I said, okay, I'm going to start incorporating them into, into larger works. Bridget is a, um, is a Celtic goddess, a uh, goddess of fire. Of, uh, it's, a, it's a name that means strength and valor and, and, and uh, vigor. Uh, and I just found her really, really remarkable. She is, there's a strength there. There's a, there's a kindness, a wisdom to her. Uh, and uh, she's got the face tattoo because she's a warrior. She's a goddess. Uh, whenever I paint anyone with green eyes, I'm recognizing some sort of divinity in that, in that person. Uh, so she has her green eyes, her hair is blowing in the wind. I can see her on some sort of cliff uh, on the mm -hmm. coast uh, looking out to sea. Uh, I just thought it was a very, it's a very peaceful and powerful image, though she's so rudimentary. My, 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 you know, my drawings are not realistic in any way she's very much uh abstracted but uh there's a strength there and a beauty that i thought was was worth sharing and talking about uh it's a 20 uh by 16 by 20 and i have it here as well uh, just a second let me let me switch. I, if i put her on this side she's looking at me so i'll let, do her john just a second let me switch the screen there yeah. she is and uh there's actually a person that I know that was kind of the inspiration for her. And of course, she looks nothing like the person who's inspired, but she feels like that person. And one of the things I thought was particularly interesting in the way that she turned out is where the light hits her face. Uh, it's almost as though she were cloud, that she was somehow part of the environment, and the element. You can see the wind blowing her hair, the wind blowing kind of the 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 fire elements around her. Uh, she is part of nature. She is part of that Celtic environment. I think it's lovely. And I, I like the texture to it when you get closer. Yeah, there, there is, there there's is so much, of, there's so much going well. on. Not loads, but some, you can see some of it. And right? actually I like all, all your uh, head paintings. They are mm -hmm. so unusual and they're so fun in a way. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think she's got she's got a little bit of a, a trickster in her as well. She's up to something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's very pleasant. Virgin, I wanted to share her, and she's available here in the studio as well. Well, I think uh, this is what we have for today, and I hope you guys enjoy our show. I hope you all stay safe. And uh, a reminder: this Saturday, <clears throat> if you want to stop by the studios, please do because we are going to be in our studios i am in 111 john is in 108 and the closest door to the studio is outside is number four and um with social media and with vlogs and blogs and podcasts you can't get enough of us so yes yes and you know around. i have uh, I have to say that I've been involved in so many projects lately. Either it's a client project or my personal art project. Uh, Sometimes uh, I'm I kind of, right now I'm like, what am I working on? I'm, I'm working on a, an ink drawings, applying, uh, embellish it basically with gold leaf and acrylic. Then I'm having, getting ready for Guadalajara. Then I'm trying new, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm working on these cultural photography pieces. And then uh, I'm discovering new and old works and I, that I want to promote. And everything is in Instagram or Facebook in a, in a way or another. Uh, and it's great that I, you know, this is what who I am. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing stuff all the time. I never stop. And John, the same. Yes, exactly. What's what's the point of life if you stop? So great. Have a great week. Uh, we look forward to seeing you again. Come by the studio this Saturday if you're in town. If not, we will see you next time. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.